Hello again, Qigong enthusiasts. This is the third video in a new series that I'm doing to provide some education on Qigong and specifically on the wood element, which, um, as I've mentioned, is related with your liver and your gallbladder. So today I wanted to veer off a little bit from working specifically with the wood element and just give a general Qigong exercise. And it's called many different things by many different teachers, but to me this is one of the first steps in Qigong because Qigong is all about energy and this is the easiest exercise to begin to feel energy in your body. And it really addresses some important pieces of Qigong. Um, it's called the energy palms meditation or you know you can make up a lot of names for this but it's essentially just feeling energy in your palms and we're going to practice this here in a minute or two but i wanted to explain why it's so important so in chinese medicine you have um, what are called external chakras and you've got four of them uh, two on your palms and two on the soles of your feet now the ones on your feet are closely related with your lower Dan Tian, which is an energy center that governs your vitality. Uh, the ones on your palms are connected with your middle Dan Tian and your heart center. And this is where uh, the lower Dan Tian cultivates the physical energy, the middle Dan Tian cultivates the emotional energy, and just the Qi in general. So that's a big, important energy center. And it's also really important because when we begin to feel the energy in our palms, it automatically, since these are connected to the heart, they automatically will open up the middle Dan Tian, or you could also say the heart chakra. It's a, in the same location pretty much. And what that does is it allows energy to connect. Well, first of all, it opens your heart, okay? And the heart is the bridge between your spirit and your body. So in Qigong, that's really the first step, is initiating a mind-body connection or a spirit and mind connection. And that can't be done if we have a lot of blockage in our heart. We need that energy to go both ways. Our mind needs to sense our body and feel our body. And um, the body needs to report to the mind as well. So before we begin the exercise, I want to explain one more important principle in Chinese medicine. It's called water energy up and fire energy down. And so opening the heart is crucial in this uh, principle as well. There are two major meridians in your body. A meridian is where the energy flows. And this is called um, the microcosmic orbit is a common name. Uh, energy goes down the front, down the central uh, points of your body, and up the back. And so that, those together, they link up and they make the microcosmic orbit. And so basically when we're in a state of fight or flight, uh, the energy's blocked along that channel, our heart's closed. When we're in a state of rest and digest, that microcosmic orbit is flowing. And this is something that you can really tangibly feel. And why you feel so relaxed and centered after a Qigong workout is because you've opened up that microcosmic orbit and gotten the Qi to flow. But we need to open up the heart to do that. So again, the fire energy, we'll be talking about the fire element and the heart. Um, fire energy is supposed to go down and warm all of our internal organs and send fresh chi to that region. And the water energy is created in our kidneys, and that needs to flow upward and keep our head cool and clear. So if that process is backwards, the fire energy goes up and heats up the head and you get a hot head and the cold energy, the cool energy stays down and you're not going to have good digestion and your internal organs aren't going to function. So we want to have the fire energy go down, water energy up. To do that, we need to open up the heart. And so again, this is a great practice you can do anytime. And I remember I've really reintegrated it, in, reintegrated it into my daily practice or just for five minutes on a break during the day, um, but it was also something I practiced early on because I could feel so much blockage in my chest and in the heart, and that caused a lot of anxiety. So this practice is phenomenal for opening up the heart, relaxing, and it's re-energizing at the same time. So let's give it a try. 
So all you'll need to do is just relax. You can have your eyes opened or closed and bring your hands in front of your chest. Mine are a little higher so you can see them, but focus on your palms and just focus right at the center of your palms. You're just feeling whatever sensation you have there. And you're going to move your hands without touching your palms together. Just move them slowly back and forth. So without touching and just feel your palms. And you want to let everything else out of your mind. And just feel the sensation in your palms. Move your hands back and forth. Keep feeling your palms. And you might notice you start to feel a tingling sensation. You might feel a heat, a cool. You might feel a magnetic sensation like a pushing or a pulling. Your hands may be drawn towards each other or pushed apart. Keep focusing on your hands, palms. Palms. Keep feeling your palms. And as you practice this, your attention is going to be expanding from the palms to your wrists and your elbows and into your shoulders. And you'll very naturally be able to release tension in your shoulders and in your chest. And eventually you'll feel a connection from your palms through your wrists, elbows, and shoulders all the way into your chest. And into your heart chakra, into your middle dantian. And if you lose your attention, just bring it back to your palms. And if you can expand your attention Feel your palms all the way through the arms into your chest. And relax your chest. Keep bringing your mind back to your body. Just feel the palms. And you'll notice that after a minute or two, you might be able to feel your breath. And it falls into a rhythm with your movement. And this helps support the opening of your heart. And it helps support the flow of energy. And most naturally, as your hands expand, you'll find yourself breathing in. And as your hands close towards each other, you're breathing out. And you can start to do that intentionally. Keeping your mind on the sensation in your body. You can be breathing in as your hands expand. Breathing out as your hands close. Feel your palms. 
and feel your chest. And you can practice a few deep breaths into your chest too, just more purposeful. Breathing in deeply into your chest and expanding your heart chakra. Feeling your heart open up widely. And then we'll conclude this exercise. I like to finish by bringing the palms slowly all together, like you're capturing all that energy, and then bringing your palms or your thumbs to touch your chest in the prayer posture. And then to close, you can just feel down to the root of your spine. Let that energy expand downward into the earth. And then from your heart, feel it expand upward and through the top of your head. And feel the crown chakra at the top of your head. And just feel that alignment of energy for a moment. And feel a couple of breaths in and out. And feel your heart one more time. Okay, so that's my energy exercise for the day. It's the palm energy meditation. So again, I highly recommend try that one over the next few days. Just try it two or three times a day before you go to bed or just at, after lunch or sometime during your day where you're feeling stressed out. Just focus on the palms and remember it's the gateway to opening your heart. It's the gateway to feeling energy and sensitizing yourself to chi. All right, so I'll be back in a couple of days with the next video. And if you want to catch the first one, it's called How Does Qigong Work? So you can start the series from the beginning if you'd like to do that. See you soon.